so here we're at a residential new construction site. This is Resi New Work. I have installed a three gain nail on box, spaced a half inch for drywall, 45 inches from bottom of box to floor. I've secured my wires within 12 inches of the clamps on, that secure the wires to the box. Those are the blue flaps built into the box. I've installed my light box and I want to draw your attention to a couple of things here. This non-metallic cable, Romex, cannot be nailed on edge like this. It is a flat cable and must be nailed flat. We're not going to drive it hard. We're simply going to seat it and secure it. Now my three gang switch box, it's three gang because I have three switches. Each of these switches controls a light or a fan in the bedroom where the switch box is located. This is my hot feed coming into the box. I have a black, which is marked with a colored flag, not white, gray, or green per code. This is my neutral conductor. This is my ground. I've stripped it extra long. You'll see why in a moment. This is switch number one, located and brought in in the first position. Switch number two, switch number three. This is my main overhead light for the bedroom. This is a switch for the can lights, and this is my ceiling fan. Now I'm gonna take all of my grounds and I'm gonna route them to a central location. The code does require that grounding conductors have a mechanical connection. To do this easily, I've taken my lineman's pliers, I've provided a pre-twist to the conductors, I've cut off the excess grounding conductor because I don't wanna overfill the box, overcrowd. I have a green wire nut with a hole in the top. This is a manufactured product. I slide it over my longest grounding conductor. All of my pre-twist is to the right. My wire nut secures to the right. That's a clockwise twist. And I want to twist until secure. And I see the wires start to twist back on themselves. I know I have a secure grounding connection. The tug test is imperative at every connection. If you do nothing else as an electrician, but make secure wiring connections, you're ahead of the curve. Next, I'm gonna take my neutral conductors in similar fashion and bring them to a centralized location. One thing that trips people up is that not every white conductor in a switch box is always a neutral conductor. If a white conductor is used for any other purpose, it must be marked as such. In this case, these are all neutral conductors. I've brought them to a central location. I'm cutting them to the same length. I'm stripping off three quarters of an inch from the end of the conductor. This is 14 gauge cable, which is color coded. White cable, 14 gauge. This was not the case decades ago, but has been for quite some time. Then I'm gonna provide a pre-twist. I'm gonna do one revolution for the first conductor, first set of two conductors. I'm gonna introduce my third conductor, provide another revolution and a half, give or take. That's not a science. That's based upon experience. And now I've introduced my fourth neutral conductor. I'm gonna provide a good quality pre-twist such that the conductors are all of equal length, terminating at a common point and in this case, I'm going to be using a tan ideal wire nut. Every wire nut, box or bag, when you purchase the wire nut is marked with the size and quantity of conductors with which um, it is permitted to terminate. I've used tan, which is suitable for most residential applications. And again, I'm going to tuck those neutrals. I'm now done with them to the back of the box. I'm going to take my grounding conductor next because I will come back to use this when I terminate my switches. And I'm gonna tuck it, not stuff it, to the back of the box. And then I'm gonna take switch legs one, two, and three, and I'm gonna put them in their respective position. I've folded it in a vertical in position three. Taking switch leg two, I'm folding it in position two. Taking switch leg one, and I'm folding it into position one. And then I'm taking my hot conductor that provides the power feed for all three switches. And I'm laying, overlaying it into the box. 
And again, tucking it back to keep it safe. Everything is in the proper position. And when we pull this out for termination purposes, it'll make total sense and there'll be clarity on what every conductor is intended for. Next, we're gonna terminate non-metallic cable, Romex cable, in a variety of boxes, and we're gonna explain the purpose and the situation for each box.